Hello world, I'm Glocarp, welcome back to Inscription, where uh, last time the game once again just murdered us because we were going too fast, we haven't solved something in the room here uh, that we need to solve before we can uh, move on. It's probably this, I think it must be this. So we'll play a squirrel, so we'll try to get a coyote as soon as possible so we can play this kind of situation on the board. I just hope that it doesn't actually have to be like that it's empty on his side as well, because uh, getting this on like a first turn, it's not gonna happen, and trying to make the uh, place, like his side, clear for that to happen is uh, it's not that easy, so uh, let's go. I'm not quite sure what this is. No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide a tribe that you prefer. Okay, so insects or wolves or birds. Let's take wolves because a coyote is part of the wolf, so maybe we can get a coyote. The proud wolf, a vicious contender. A randomly chosen canine card. Did you wish for something else? Yes, yes, I very much wished for something else. I wished, I wished, I very much wished. We got two wolves, okay. Yeah, I very much wished for a coyote. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Shoes! Okay, so we can get stinky, we can get flying, or we can get things that turn better. Uh, and we only have a squirrel head, so it's gonna make. This is going to be something that goes for our squirrels. Uh. <laughs> flying squirrels do nothing for us. Uh, squirrels that turn into better squirrels. You know, but sure, sure, let's take this so maybe we can see what what, what are elder squirrels. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The fledgling sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Okay, well, let's immediately go see what we can do with our squirrels against your waterborne canines. Oh, that's bad. That's actually something that might be a very quick loss. Because we cannot attack them. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to get damage in quickly. So we probably got to put the wolf down. Yeah, the wolf down. That's what we're going to do. So we pull the squirrel in. We're going to take the squirrel from the bottle. Uh, we're gonna take another squirrel, and then we're gonna uh, no, not the bullfrog, the wolf. We're gonna put it actually in here. So now we're doing three damage uh, next turn. We're not taking any damage. This isn't dying, and we're dealing three damage because this is waterborne now. Uh, we're not gonna be seeing it at all, and the wolf is just gonna win this fight for us. Okay, nice, nice and simple. Didn't see what the Elder Squirrels would be like, but... Oh wow, we're getting another totem, like... A little while. Oh, you didn't have anything to say about types. Well, we're gonna see if we can... No coyote for us. Uh, da -da. So there's another one of those things. Okay, and we get more totem things. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Okay, so we could get this, so our moose, creatures, elks, reindeers, whatever, could be uh, some things that grow stronger, or we could make our squirrels be deadly, or moles. Honestly, I'm gonna take the deadly thing, just in case we find another head as well, but uh, we're gonna keep the squirrels as growing squirrels because we, I mean, they don't have any power, so they can't be deadly. The old woman collected her pieces and snuffed off into the darkness. Yeah, I mean, there'd be another, another totem thing, but no, we're gonna have to try and get some cards. So yeah, let's just. Uh go for the fight and we can get the card or we can we're trying to find a coyote it's the thing ah, lucky draw yep okay so 
And a couple of sparrows incoming. I think I'm just gonna put a squirrel down and not play anything, because I want to see what happens. So what, what does the squirrel turn into? Yeah, it's just, it's an elder squirrel. Okay. And stout. Hmm. We're gonna have to put the stout in play, that's for sure. Put it in there. Uh, put it here. Bang. Oh, we only got one bone. Oh, because we don't have the bone lodge ple blessing anymore for this run. Right. Uh, and I'm not gonna put the wolf in play just now. So we're gonna stay at this thing, because we're doing a. Uh, 2 damage, he's gonna be doing 2 damage, but uh, the stout will kill the coyote next turn, and take a squirrel, we can then sacrifice these squirrels for the wolf, probably wanna kill one of the sparrows actually, oh, and then we can get the stink bug in here and kill the other sparrow as well, okay, oh, I mean it's not gonna die right now, but it's gonna die next turn. And then we'll just take a card. And I think we won. No, didn't win. Uh, what do we even have in our deck anymore? There's a... Okay, we got two wolves. The stout. The stink bug. What do we start? The stout, wolf, stink bug, and... Why is my brain not telling me? Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just sacrifice the stout for another wolf so we can get even more gold and teeth. Okay, and let's actually... So what is in our deck? Okay, well, right, so we got like three wolves in there. The bullfrog, right? The bullfrog is the starting card that I always seem to forget. Okay, come on, come on. Give me... Give me a coyote. No, bloodhound. The Dawnless bloodhound. It leaves to post new creatures when they are played. Okay, okay, okay. And items, uh, which we have a full setup, so we're not gonna be getting anything from here, I believe. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. I just feel like the squirrel in the bottle is the thing that usually saves us the most. But being able to just simply destroy a card might be pretty good too. Huh, I don't know what that is. We haven't seen that before. So here would be a card, so if we... But then another item again. Now we'll go this side. I'm gonna think, who are we gonna sacrifice for what? Probably the Bloodhound or the Stingbug. No, the Stingbug. We wanna keep the Stingbug around because of the uh, bone cost. Well, we're gonna sacrifice something. It's, it's it's not that big of a deal what we're gonna sacrifice at this point because we really don't have anything that good happen. Red draw, yes. So a porcupine uh, when we hit it, it's gonna deal one damage to us. So we want someone who hits it for two. So that would be the wolf. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll play the squirrel. And we'll play the bullfrog. Yeah. Ooh. Another porcupine. This isn't that great. Yeah, we're gonna take another squirrel. Uh, we're gonna play the wolf here. And are we gonna... Are we gonna play the stink bug here? I mean, it will kill that thing eventually, but uh, uh, it'll also die hmm. while doing that. But that's probably okay. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, got another sparrow incoming. Like a card, the bloodhound. Okay, uh, we're not winning quite just yet, but I don't think there's any reason to put the Bloodhound in right now either, so we'll just uh, 
see what's happening. Hmm. Okay, like a squirrel. We're gonna take one damage. Put the squirrel there. Don't really want to put the uh, bloodhound in play just yet. Yeah, now we got the elder squirrel. Uh, are we winning this turn? Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, we're winning this turn, so let's just uh, put a squirrel in, sacrifice both of the squirrels, put the bloodhound in here, and then we're gonna have a bit more overkill than we would have had otherwise. Then we'll go for this. Oh, it's the prospector. You came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You cut me off guard! Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say, I'd like me a gamble. If you can pick a boulder that's gold in it, you can keep it. Show me where to strike. Here. Bag nabbit, no gold. But that is a funny looking environment. Keep it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna keep this. Mantis is a very good card. Especially if we can make it... Oh, wait. We don't need to make the Mantis stronger. We're just gonna give the Mantis... No, because it was... Uh, we can't sacrifice it, right? Yeah, we cannot sacrifice that. And then we'll probably sacrifice the Wolf Cub. <laughs> and we'll give... I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens to a Wolf when it gets stronger. It seems to be, to me, that it's... They always get one attack and two health this creature, so let's see if that is correct. Will the wolf be a 4-4 after it has gone through one? Wait, are we already at the Prospector? Well, dang, nab it. That smoke, it is great indeed. Oh, it's actually got like an attack and a defense value now. Okay. That's what the point about the greater smoke. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me, gold! Be darned! <laughs> Easy, boss. Just pop that mule. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna pop that mule. So, I'm actually just... Gonna put a squirrel down. A coyote. Yeah, the, we'll put the greater smoke down as well. It will not kill the coyote, but. Uh, I mean, the coyote will not kill it, it will kill the coyote, so that's a good for us. Uh. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was thinking, like, what are we gonna do here? Uh, because of the fact that there is the overkill damage, we are going to put the wolf in play. Uh, so it, it's gonna kill both of these coyotes, and then we can see what it turns into if it's... If it's plus one and plus two, like it seems to be for creatures. Yeah, it's plus one, plus two, okay. Uh... Can I pick a card? Okay, the Mantis. Yeah, let's put the Mantis in play now. We're gonna lose this Mantis, which is unfortunate. Oh, you already killed it. Uh, I, whoa! Mummy and her pack! Yeah, at least we can see what the... Okay, so it turns into the Mantis God, which, uh has a trifurcated strike, so it strikes here, here, and here. So that's actually through. So yeah, we're winning here right now, so let's just pick a squirrel at this point. Uh, what is this? Bell ringer. Her re presented by this. Yeah, can't read what that says. But it doesn't matter, because uh, we're just going to uh, win the first battle here. Unfortunately, we're going to lose two of our biggest cards here as well. There's gold in them cards! You got gold! I struck gold! Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so we got space for something. Oh, bloody hell! We got a coyote in our hand! Oh, how would it- oh! There's- oh, man! I and mean, we could put the some- we could like put something in, like the stout or uh, the uh, river otter or the coyote, but we need to put the coyote- just coyote here and squirrel here, right? Did I already take a card? Okay, I'll let me take a squirrel. And this, so this jumps, it's placed up when it's placed. Okay, so okay, 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 uh, so we're just gonna let, get him! Let that thing get us. Uh, and we got a couple of squirrels, so we're in a pretty good situation. So if I put a squirrel in here now, this guy's gonna jump here, he's gonna eat the squirrel. But nothing's gonna eat these gold nuggets. Okay, let's just try to win then. Uh, right. One, three. Bell ringer. It's gotta be something to do with the bell. Clearly, because it's called the Bell Ringer. Oh, it's the Bell Ringer! That's what it was called, right? Bell Ringer. Yeah, so probably should have put it here. It probably would have been stronger here. Ugh. Okay, and the coyote. Oh, put. Right, the Bloodhound does that. Well, uh, we're gonna have to let the coyote attack it. Okay, so the adder. It's going to now destroy that. Uh, do we have we have a swirl there. Uh, so grab another squirrel. Put that down there. And who is the biggest hitter here? The bloodhound. Okay. Now sacrifice both of you because one isn't very much. And we could put in an otter or a stealth as well. Let's... Right, right. Or we could put the bullfrog in. Let's put the otter in. So it's gonna kill the bloodhound. We're gonna do a couple of damage. The adder's gonna destroy the gold nugget. And if we take a squirrel, we can put something in play to kill the adder. We're gonna deal three damage and we're gonna be winning. Your lives are restored. Choose carefully. Okay, so what do we got here? Amoeba? The amorphous amoeba. Its sigils are ever-changing. That filthy feral hog it becomes incensed when it chimes are struck. Uh, the douse. Okay, so what is your thing? Bellist. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. Okay. And the Urayuli. I mean, I think I'm gonna take the amoeba. Two, like two bones, is quite easy thing to make happen. And one two for two bones, it's basically. Like whatever it is that our things are. Free of the prospector's unhinged gaze. You looked ahead. Mm. Oh yes, I know. And are you gonna describe the wetlands to us again? Yep, yep, yep. Came hard to pull them out. Dang, smell of water. And the wetlands. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Is, like, is there anything... Like, it, this is this has gotta be the thing, but if I can't find a coyote for us... <sighs> there's... Nothing we can do with these things. I mean, this thing needs to be opened somehow. I mean... 
This would be the way to do it, like change, keep one thing. Oh my god. No, I'm not gonna be actually doing this. I'm just like, if you wanted to crack this manually, it is doable. You just need to do this, like for every single spot. Change this once, roll one symbol completely around, and once one of the symbols has gone around, then you change this, and you need to do all... Yeah, yeah, not gonna try to manually crack that. That would be taking forever and ever and ever. But I do think that we are going to put a cut in here, even though we're only at the 20-minute mark here, because uh, otherwise this episode will be going on for too long. So yeah, we're gonna put a cut in here and continue with this next time. I'm Will Carp, this has been Inscription. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.